Ever hear a guy try to woo a lady by saying she looks beautiful from behind? No, we're not talking about haircuts. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of pickup lines, where guys scramble for the most creative, most original, and often the most absurd ways to charm the ladies. You might be asking yourself, who on earth would think that telling a woman she looks good from the back is a compliment? Well, let me tell you a little story. There once was a young man, let's call him Bob. Now, Bob wasn't your typical Casanova, he was more of a, let's say, a hopeful romantic. Bob stumbled upon this line in the depths of the internet and thought to himself, this is it. This is the golden ticket. This is how I'll win her over. Armed with his newfound charm, Bob decided to test it out at the local mall. He spotted a lady, well, he thought it was a lady standing in front of a clothing store. Her back was towards him and Bob thought, perfect, this is my chance. He sauntered over, cleared his throat and said in his smoothest voice, you look very beautiful when I see you from behind because you have a perfect cut. Now the lady didn't respond. She didn't move an inch. Bob was puzzled. He moved around to face her and, surprise, it wasn't a lady, it was a mannequin. Bob had just used his golden pickup line on a plastic dummy. The surrounding crowd erupted in laughter and Bob, well, he turned a shade of red that would make a tomato jealous. So, why do some men think this is a good line? It's a mystery as old as time. Perhaps they're trying to be different, or they think it's a subtle way to compliment a woman's figure, but let's face it, it's just plain weird. And as for Bob, well, he learned a valuable lesson that day. And that's how he ended up with a plastic girlfriend. Now, you might be wondering, is there any scientific reason for this pickup line? Spoiler alert, not really. But let me tell you, there are some Casanovas out there who try to sprinkle a bit of pseudoscience on this line, hoping it would stick. Picture this. A scene in a bar, a young man, let's call him Bob, approaches a woman with a line as cheesy as a triple-decker pizza. You look beautiful from behind because you have a perfect cut. Now, our friend Bob, in an attempt to sound intellectual, starts to justify his line with what he thinks is science. He leans in and says, You see, your silhouette follows the Fibonacci sequence. The lady, intrigued but also confused, asks, The Fibo what sequence? Bob, encouraged by her curiosity, dives deeper. He starts explaining, The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where the next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. It's often seen in nature, in spirals of shells, the arrangement of a pine cone, and apparently in the curves of your body. Bob, now sounding more like a math teacher than a potential date, continues, your body proportions reflect the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618, and is often associated with aesthetic perfection. As Bob rambles on about ratios and spirals, the lady's eyes glaze over. She was expecting a flirtatious chat, not a geometry lecture. Bob, oblivious to her growing disinterest, keeps going, and that's why your behind is scientifically beautiful. So, let's pause here. What can we learn from our friend Bob? Well, using science to justify a pickup line might not be the best approach unless you're at a mathematician's convention, and even then, it's a risky move. So ladies, if a man starts talking about spirals and ratios while looking at your back, he's not trying to seduce you, he's giving a geometry lesson. So, how should one compliment a woman? Here's a hint. It's not by objectifying her. Now, I'm no love guru, but I can tell you this. Genuine and respectful compliments go a long way. Let's take a detour into the land of compliments. No, not those cheesy pickup lines you've been storing for the perfect moment, but real heartfelt compliments. Let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of a well-placed compliment. It's like a perfectly wrapped gift. It's not about the size, it's all about the thought and effort that went into it. Compliments are the same. It's not about how grandiose your words are, it's about how genuine and heartfelt they are. Here's a funny story for you. Once upon a time there was a young man, let's call him Bob, Bob was quite the charmer, or at least he thought he was. He spotted a lovely lady across the room and decided to pay her a compliment. He strolled over, his chest puffed out, and said, Madam, I must commend your intelligence. I've observed you from across the room, and I must say the way you handle your utensils is nothing short of genius. Now Bob thought he was complimenting her intelligence. In reality, he was merely complimenting her on her ability to use a fork. And let me tell you, ladies and gents, nobody wants to be complimented on their cutlery skills. So, what's the moral of the story? Compliments should be genuine, respectful, and most importantly, relevant. Compliment her smile, her laugh, her kindness. Compliment her for her achievements, her ambitions, her strength. Compliment her for being her. Remember, gents, 
Compliments should uplift, not downgrade to the level of utensil understanding. Let's circle back to the perfect cut. Is there a right way to use it? Well, now there's a certain charm in the audacity to say, you look very beautiful when I see you from behind, because you have a perfect cut. It's bold, it's brash, it's borderline inappropriate. But what if we took this line for a bit of a joy ride, applied it to some less romantic scenarios? Imagine if you will, a young man strolling into a bakery, the aroma of freshly baked bread wafting through the air. He saunters up to the counter where a loaf of artisan sourdough is proudly displayed. With a sly grin, he says to the baker, you know, this loaf looks very beautiful when I see it from behind, because it has a perfect cut. The baker, a little taken aback, simply nods and proceeds to slice a piece. And would you believe it? The slice is symmetrical, the crust perfectly crisp, the inner crumb soft and fluffy. Indeed, it was a perfect cut. Now let's take this scene and play it out in a barber shop. Our protagonist in the barber's chair says to the barber, You know, my hair looks very beautiful when you see it from behind, because it has a perfect cut. The barber, amused, takes it as a challenge and gives our hero the most immaculate haircut he's ever had. So, in a way, this line, the perfect cut line, it's a bit like a magic spell. It conjures up perfection in the most unexpected places. But remember, timing is everything. Use it at the right moment, and you might just get that perfect slice of cake or the haircut of your dreams. So the next time you think about using the perfect cut line, remember, it works best in a bakery, 